how do people deal with negative self-talk? Okay, negative self-talk, unfortunately, is part of human life. There is indeed something of a negativity bias built into us as human beings, because let's face it, for the vast majority of human existence on the planet, our lives were rather uncertain. We did not necessarily know where the food supply was going to come from a month down the line. Uh, our existence was somewhat fragile and unpredictable. So we developed as a survival mechanism this tendency to kind of worry about stuff because it energized us to be careful. Okay, now a lot of that negativity bias is unnecessary, but we still have it. And it's very important for everyone who wants to become a more confident individual to be honest about where indeed does that negative voice kick in? Does it kick in when I enter the office of my boss? Does it kick in when I enter um, the weight room? Does it kick in on, you know, game day morning? Wh when and where does it kick in? Let's get, let's get some awareness about that. Once we have that awareness, now let's be very good at talking back to that voice. Again, this is a choice that you make. This voice kicks in. Uh oh, I don't know if I've done enough practice. You have to acknowledge that. You have to acknowledge that right now your confidence is under attack. It's kind of like you're in the boxing match and here comes a punch. You better acknowledge it. And your second step after you've acknowledged it is to stop it. Everybody has the ability to shut that voice off. Maybe you need to visualize a stop sign. Maybe you need to visualize a red traffic light. Maybe, and this is a somewhat humorous example, you need to visualize a toilet being flushed. We all know what goes down the tubes there, but that's a representation of stopping it, getting rid of it. And then third, really important, you got to get in the last word. You've got to talk back to that voice. You've got to say, no, I have done this practice and this practice and this practice. And this is where your journaled mental bank account comes in really handy. You can draw from it in those moments. And the same way you get the last word in during an argument with your obnoxious older or younger sibling, you get the word in against that voice of negativity and fear and doubt. And that momentarily silences it, gives you an opportunity to be present with what you're doing. Now, you may have to repeat that process, acknowledge it, stop it, replace it two minutes down the road. You may have to do it over and over again, and that's fine. As long as you are acknowledging it, stopping it and replacing it, getting in that last word, you are in the game. You're winning that mental battle. You are accomplishing what I refer to in the book as a first victory victory over your mind that gives you an opportunity and please remember all your competitors all your opponents they've got just as much negative self-talk as you have if you're just a little bit better at acknowledging it stopping it replacing it then those competitors or those opponents wow you just created an advantage for yourself so look at it that way gang what's happening people if you enjoyed that then press here for the full unedited episode and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.